There's so much more to Denmark than Copenhagen, so in this video I'll be sharing my favourite place to go in Denmark outside of the capital. I'll share the top things to do, how to get there and in general just throw in a couple of facts and travel advice if you're planning a trip to this part of Denmark. So let's get right into it and head over to the incredible island of Bornholm. Bornholm has nature that you won't find anywhere else in the country. On this island you can experience breathtaking landscapes, cozy small towns and the food here is quite different from the rest of Denmark, so it truly is a unique place to visit. You do see quite a few German and Swedish tourists here, but apart from those, Bornholm is mainly visited by Danish people and I think that's always a good sign for a holiday destination. I've been all over the world, but I still get super excited when I visit Bornholm. And everything is just so different to like mainland Denmark, even some of the trees, a lot of the plants, everything here just feels like being in a different country. So, so it does sound a bit weird when I'm saying that Bornholm is the best travel destination in Denmark because it doesn't feel Danish at all, but it is. If you've seen my video from uh, Thailand, you really should. Uh, you've seen Khao Sok National Park, which is like probably the most beautiful place in Thailand or one of them, it's hard to pick. And <laughs> when we were on a jungle trek in Khao Sok, we were actually a bit like, this looks like Bornholm. <laughs> it's, it's pretty funny to us that now we're walking around here and it is still really, really, really beautiful here. So I was just thinking that, like, do you have the same in your country? Like one, one particular place that is without a question the most beautiful part of your country? Let me know in the comments. That'd be pretty interesting to hear from all of you guys. Hammer's Hus here is actually the best preserved medieval castle in all of Europe, as far as I know. And it's one of those places that if you're a kid from Denmark, you know this place because you, you would have visited at least once growing up. And I think it's, it must be one of the most famous uh, attractions here in Denmark. And with very good reason, I still haven't finished it. Bloody Danes. Another nice thing about this place is that it's completely free to enter. They could easily have said like 100 kroner or 150, but it's free to enter for everybody and I really like that. We don't have many places here in Denmark where you can actually cliff jump and go on this massive uh, zip line, but the Opel Lake here is one of them. And this might be one of the most beautiful places in all of Bornholm and probably in all of Denmark as well. And <laughs> we just walked past where people jump from the cliff and you can also see the zip line, the guys on the zip line coming down. And it's just, I could stand here with a beer and just have, have a pretty good day because <laughs> everybody is in such great mood. And when people are landing in the water, <laughs> everybody goes, oh, that's gonna hurt. Lonely Planet says that Du Other Beach is one of the 20 best beaches in all of Europe. The sand here is probably some of the finest you'll find in, uh, in Denmark, that's for sure. And it's a beautiful long beach, so if you just walk maybe 50 meters from like the main uh, walkway down here, you can actually find some pretty nice secluded spots. Gudhjem literally translates to God's home and as well as being the home of the big guy from up there, it's also the most beautiful and nicest town in Bornholm in my opinion. There's just something about this little town that sets it apart from the other ones. It's just more cozy, more beautiful, the people are nicer. I don't know about that, but it's a nice place. So Gudiem is the perfect place to just stroll about, get an ice cream and enjoy Danish summer. From here you can also take boat tours to our next must-see site here in Bornholm. On this trip I parked up our car and walked down the steps to the Black Pot, which is a pretty iconic place. We don't have many funky animals here in Denmark, but if you walk into the small cave down here, you can see a rare species of cave spiders. 
I would probably rather eat glass than go down some dark cave with massive spiders in it, so I can't show you any footage of the spiders, sorry. Dundalen is a word that I think must be pretty hard to pronounce if you're not Scandinavian. It's also one of the most famous forests here in Bornholm, and there should be a price at the end of this trail. But let's see. I'd actually read online that there wasn't supposed to be water in the waterfall in the summertime, and we are here in mid-July. Uh, people online said that, oh, you need to come in like uh, October or something, but I guess in the words of the famous Arctic monkeys, don't believe the hype or don't believe the people on the internet. Never. Except for me, of course. Bornholm is an island that geographically should probably belong to Sweden, but the good news is that it's super easy and quite cheap to get there from Copenhagen. You can get a ticket that includes a bus transfer from central Copenhagen to Ustel in Sweden, where you board the ferry to Bornholm. I've been on these quite a few times and they just work and the price is excellent. You could also fly from Copenhagen airport, but personally I don't think it's worth the hassle of going through the airport, especially since the bus and ferry combo is so cheap and just works. One of the main downsides of Bornholm is the fact that public transport just sucks. It's wild how crap it is, to be honest. There are public buses, but they're rare and very expensive, so I'd highly recommend renting a car so you don't have to rely on these buses. And quite a lot of the main things to see in Bornholm aren't that well connected by bus, so unfortunately the best option is to rent a car. Rønne is the biggest city in Bornholm, but it's also the least charming, so don't make the mistake of staying in Rønne. Instead, I'd advise that you look for accommodation in towns like Gudjem, Allinge, Sandvi or Svanike. These are all very charming, and there's a good selection of restaurants in each of these towns. My favorite is probably Gudjem, but I know a lot of people are very fond of Allinge and Sandvi too. If you stay in Allinge, I'd highly recommend checking out Allinge Royeri, which is this restaurant that does a mad fish buffet. Here you can sample some pretty unique dishes that you can only get in this part of Denmark. Generally speaking, eating at a Royeri or smokehouse is a must-do in Bornholm. Another awesome place I'd highly recommend that you check out is this iconic place called Fru Petersen's Café, or Miss Petersen's Café. I went there with my girlfriend and her grandmother who's from Bornholm and actually went to school in this building. They do a cake buffet which was great, but the real attraction here is actually the whole experience of going back in time. I hope this video gave you a good little sneak peek of Bornholm. Give the video a like and comment below what you think about Bornholm or if you have any questions.